Hello and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with Immigration Attorney Brian D. Lerner. We are talking about the new H-2B regulations and what is necessary. We've done a few videos on it. Now, what happens after you send in the H-2B, uh, what they call registration? Now, what happens after you register the H-2B from there? Well, uh, you want to make sure you pretty much send everything in by next day, uh, again, until it's all electronically allowed. Uh, you have to send it in regularly. So uh, send it in to the proper place, which is the CO or certifying officer, by next day. Uh, and then what will happen, uh, really three things. The certifying officer will either approve, deny, or send it what they, they're now referring to as an RFI. Normal, normally it's an RFE. But in this particular case, uh, it's a request for information. Um, you will get a an RFI within seven business days of receipt of the H-2B registration. Now, when you get it, it will state the reasons why the H-2B cannot be approved and what supplemental information uh, or documentation will be needed to correct the deficiency it will specify a date no later than seven business days from the date the RFI is issued by which it must be provided so it's very quick boom 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 and you get it done um, it'll state that upon receipt of the response of the RFI that the CO or certifying officer will review the H2B registration as well as all the supplemental information which you just sent in and basically will make a decision at that time. Now, failure to comply with an RFI, uh, including not responding to all of the questions or items asked and not doing a timely course will result in a denial of the H-2B. Now, when you uh, get a decision, you will get a notice of the decision by the certifying officer. It will be in writing and uh, it'll, you know, you, you'll be able to appeal later if it's a denial. But uh, let's look on the bright side. If you get an H-2B uh, registration, uh, certain things will follow for that from that. So, uh, if the H-2B registration is approved, then the certifying officer will send a notice of decision to the employer and a copy to the uh, employer's agent or attorney and from there uh, you will be able to go forward and uh, the employee will be able to come in and then work at the position. Uh, now the certifying officer uh, may approve the H-2B registration for up to three consecutive years uh, and again that's usually for a one-time occurrence that doesn't sound like a real temporary position but uh, for that particular place it is. Now, if a denial comes in, then uh, the certifying officer again will send the denial to the same places, state the reason it was denied, and it will offer the employer an opportunity to request administrative review, which basically means an appeal within 10 business days from the notice of the decision. Okay. Uh, so normally it's 30 days to do an appeal, here it's 10. Normally it's 84 days to respond to an RFE. Here it's seven days to respond to an RFI. So it's much quicker. Now, keep in mind for the employers that when filing an H-2B registration, they are required to retain any documents uh, and records that are not submitted to prove compliance with the H-2B regulation. And all of this should be uh, save for at least three years. Okay, so uh, we'll get more on uh, the new regulations, uh, but for now, uh, the new way of doing it, uh, starting in late April, uh, seems to be a much smoother way. It doesn't divide it between two different governmental agencies. It gives one certifying officer the ability to make the final decision. Okay, more on the coming videos.